is Lisa from Aftershock Comics, and I'm here at Russ Braun Studio, where he does all the wonderful work on Jimmy's Bastards. And here's Russ. Hey, how are you? He's going to give us a little <laughs> tour of his studio, and then also his art process on how he gets these amazing panels for us. Sure. So come over come here. Come on over. Um, here's a, a spread from the next from the latest issue, one that's just coming out now, um, and I'll show you basically how I get to the process, what the process is to get to this. Uh, I get the script from Garth, and uh, I thumbnail it. But basically, I do every every drawing separate, a separate sketch mm -hmm. in the sketchbook from all different aspects of the of the page. So I did like four or five at least rough sketches of yeah. each, each area. Uh, see, that one was the one I went with. I tried that one, didn't like it. And uh, that sneaks ahead. Uh, from the sketch stage, I scan it into the computer. I uh, print everything out to size mm -hmm. so that I can put it on the light box and do a, uh, a finished version. The roughs I print out look like that. Then I put it on the light box Great. and uh, do a finish over the top of that. So. Like take it out of the oven after you know 50 minutes, and, uh, <laughs> but that's the basic idea of how I work on this stuff. Uh, rendered pencil is the final stage for me. I don't I don't ink because uh, it's an extra step. I just darken it up in the in the uh, computer in Photoshop, and then this is what it ends up looking like when it's colored by John Kalish, lettered by Rob Steen, mm -hmm. and. Uh, yeah. The depraved mind of Garth Innes. <laughs> yeah, and me. I'll take. I'll take credit. That's I, true because I you stand. Said... I stand firmly behind Garth. Uh, yeah. Fifty yards or so, <laughs> but I stand behind what he does. So you you come up with most of the image from the script and yeah. then also your imagination. Yeah, I try to for this book. I'm trying to do as much out of my head as possible because um, if you get too realistic with it, it'll be uh, I don't know a different sense of humor about it. Yeah, we, mm -hmm. uh, we end up with some reference for some characters now that are that might be famous in espionage circles. Ooh. We're trying to keep them um, caricatured so I don't get in trouble. Okay. And, uh, but it's fun. I mean, again, Garth wants a lot of really specific stuff, uh, military uh, equipment. And that has to be referenced. But for the most part, I try and work as much out of my head as possible. So. Nice. So which... Which scene in this particular one do you like the most? Oh, in of these created? scenes? Yeah. I think my favorite scene is the is the karate fight. I know your favorite scene is the feet. I like the feet because it <laughs> says so much with so little. It's great. But uh, yeah, it's just the karate fight for me says what Jimmy is. He's just sitting there enjoying watching this. They're fighting either over him. We don't even really know. But yeah, uh, this is just like Jimmy thinking back about his past exploits. Um, over the like, last few years, so uh, revealing something that we'll find out in the, in the comic. <laughs> so how did you get into the comic book industry? I'm all, I always like to ask creators that, because sure. I think it's so neat. Well, I've always been an artist, always wanted to draw, and I always loved comics, so it was like my earliest dream was to be a comic artist. When I was like five or six years old, I was always drawing them. And uh, then I went to school, and my teacher worked at DC Comics, uh, old really? mentor of mine, Joe Orlando, he's a great mm. guy, and uh, he gave me my first shot. I had no idea what I was doing, I just started out drawing, and uh, he taught me a lot, and I just kept going, so almost 30 years. 30 years? So, wow. 1989, and uh, yeah, end up keep, you know, keep finding interesting projects, yeah. uh, ended up working with Garth, I'd known Garth for over about 25 years. Mm -hmm. We'd never worked together, and then we started working together the last 10 years or so, and it's been a great working relationship. I didn't want to at first because we're friends, and I don't want to screw up a friendship, you know. Yeah. But uh, by doing something bad or wrong or whatever, but we ended up uh, connecting on this stuff. So, uh, and it's been, yeah, like at least 10 years of interesting stuff from uh, Night Witches to The Boys to Section 8, uh, Where Monsters Dwell, and now Jimmy's Bastards. Yeah, I remember um, the first... Um, when they, they mentioned that you were working on Jimmy's Bastards, I was like, oh my god, I know him from yeah. The Boys, because right. I remember reading it, and I'm just like, what? Yeah. So I love the, the shocking stuff in that particular book, sure. and we have some of that kind of um, yeah, scary, 
like, yeah. Jimmy carries on the carries the torch of the boys pretty well. It it's does. more in the humor vein than yes. the boys is. Boys has humor as a side thing, and uh, but this is straight up dark satire comedy and action and fun. So, mm. and uh, you know, aftershock's the one to put it out. It's uh, yes. We get to do what we want, um, and uh, people get to read it. So. <laughs> yeah, it's been an amazing ride with uh, Jimmy's Bastards, and the fans love it. Great. Um, I've been going to city to city, talking to retailers and fans as well, and they always gush about your book. Oh, cool. So it's great. Yeah. So, well, thank you guys for joining us. Uh, Thank you so much for You're opening welcome. up your studio and sure. giving us a peek of all the yeah. stuff that you have here. You're welcome. All right. Thanks, guys. See you later. Bye. <laughs>